I'm Jim Gordon, and I'm here at the offices of the Richmond Sentinel to bring you an important segment on the 2022 municipal elections here in Richmond. We've invited all the candidates to share with you, our viewers, why they're running and who they are and why they want to serve the city of Richmond. Every candidate that accepted our invitation will be given the opportunity to share their views. Get to know the candidates here in Richmond and make an educated decision before you vote. Now, let's get started. Mark Lee is part of the uh, Richmond Citizens Group, and he joins us right now. Mark, thanks for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. You're quite welcome. Okay, a little bit about yourself and why you are choosing to run. Sure. So um, my name is Mark Lee. I am a professional translator and interpreter. I'm certified for translation from Chinese into English, and uh, so that's my main business, and I also do some side gigs, um, including I do admin work for a dim sum wholesaler. Uh, let's talk about some of the issues that you will uh, encounter uh, should you win. Um, we've kind of narrowed it down to a couple of issues. We're asking everybody the same questions. Crime and safety is a big concern in this city. If Absolutely. you were to win, what would you and your party do? Um, so for, for sure, one of our platform points um, with the Richmond Citizens Association is uh, focused on community safety. And uh, we have heard from people who are uh, knocking on their doors as we're out in the community who mm -hmm. are saying that uh, they do feel that uh, crime is really something that's impacting them, whether it's uh, people who are worried about anti-Asian racism. So we've got many people who say that they're not as comfortable as going, uh, going out as they used to be. Yeah. Um, there's other people who are talking about just uh, you know petty crime and property crime in their neighborhoods, people having things stolen people um, you know going through their backyards and that type of thing um, so for us I think a uh, main part of how we're supposed to try and tackle this is that we have to kind of recognize that there's many different types of crime yeah. and that there's many different ways that we can approach it. So on one hand, we have increasing um, police spending that you know the city basically does every year, um, but we do know that police are kind of there for after the fact, right? right so it's right. when something happens, they come and they, uh, you know, they will deal with it if it's an ongoing issue, but how are we preventing um, things from happening. How are we preventing, for example, um, racist incidents? So mm -hmm. where's the education in the community? Um, and then when it comes to, uh, we have issues, we've had several kind of high profile issues of um, teens and, um, you know, uh, there was a teen swarming that happened just actually near my house at Garden City. And, um, you know, how are we dealing with those types of issues? And so what I think we have to realize is that it's a very complicated issue and we need to be investing in multiple areas, not just, uh, you know, putting everything in one basket. So that looks like community uh, programming for kids. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like investing in spaces for people to go to, to feel safe. Mm -hmm. um, and it also in, it involves really, you know, reinvesting in the community to get people to get to know their neighbors and get to know um, their, the area that they live in. Uh, another issue we're asking everybody about is attainable or affordable housing, whatever word you put in front of housing. It is a growing concern. And how would you and your party deal with that? Yeah, so um, for pretty much everybody, I think all across the province and across the country, we're experiencing an affordability crisis right now. Um, in Richmond in particular, we're finding that renters especially are having a very difficult time finding A, affordable rents, but uh, B, just rentals at all because we have such a low vacancy rate. Right. Um, so for us, what it really looks like, and we've discussed this as a, as a group, um, is we really want to be focusing on um, non-market rentals. So what that looks like is purpose-built rental um, stock being added to what we already have in Richmond, because right now we're letting the private market kind of provide what we need. Sure, sure. Um, when, and, you know, it clearly isn't getting all of, it's not hitting all of the bases. Yeah, so we yeah. need to be focusing on the affordable housing. Um, and that's through cooperating with nonprofit developers and the city or the province putting up the land um, because we know that land costs are so high. Yeah. Someone needs to kind of step in and say, okay, we're going to put up the cash for this so that we can get the type of housing that we need built. Uh, just about 20 seconds left, yeah. and that allows you to talk about something we've not touched on, an issue important to you sure. and your party. You uh, it for here. sure. Uh, so for me personally, because I am a translator and interpreter, I'm very concerned with uh, language inclusivity in mm. Richmond. Um, and so there's been some talk about uh, even just basic things like the city website doesn't have translation. But I think as a deeper issue, it's really about connecting different cultures that speak different languages in Richmond. Hey, he's Mark Lee. He's with the Richmond Citizens, and he is running for councillor. Mark, thanks for joining us. Thanks so much. And that does it for this edition of the Richmond Senate. Spotlights on the candidates that are running in the uh, next election, October 15th. Please educate yourself and vote on that day. For more details and uh, if you want to see more videos, please go to the Richmond Senate website. It's richmondsentinel.ca.